Oh, send to you. Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Happy New Year to all of us. This is our first video for 2024 and I would like to greet you all a prosperous new year ahead. And for this year, we will embark on so many projects. We're thinking about vegetables, thinking about the chicken meat, the rabbit meat, and even the eggs of our native chickens that are going to be sold in the market and these are the things that we will embark we will also stop this our goat house and come on let me share with you our improvements in our vegetable farming so we will go there and you will see that there are amazing things that happen in our vegetable farm so I'm so excited to let you see the improvements of our vegetables here and you will see that they are already growing up. These are the white squash that we're trying to plant here. Three weeks ago we had a video about this, we plant seeds and now it's actually sprouting. And uh, I'm enjoying about these vegetables because they are crawling very fast, crawling up very fast. I'm tying this up just to guide the vegetables because we have the trellis here and we intend to let them crawl over there and we will extend our vegetables even up to the middle of the water. So you will see that these are good vegetables, they're healthy and in fact I can say that two months from now we're gonna be witnessing the harvest. So we have here one, how many? A noisy geese. Two, three four pails and i am now convinced that the natural fertilizers the organic fertilizers the rabbit poop the chicken dung are the best you know organic fertilizers that we can do for the farm and you will see the result you see that is the result of the organic fertilizers actually that we have applied here and over there we have ampalaya these are white squash and these are the ampalaya and as you can look down there you will see that we have prepared another seedling pot for our ampalaya. I'm so excited about this. You know in 2024 we will expect lots of food. Vegetables, chicken meat, goat meat, rabbit meat and many more. So I'm so inspired about this integrated farming. And you will see that we have actually experienced heavy rain. The area here is flooded with water. If you will not think about it, if you will not think properly, you will say that this area would be useless because of the water. But since we think about adjusting and doing whatever things that we can do out of the terrain, out of the situation, that's why we were able to come up with this. So it proves to us that if we will think, if we will innovate, we're going to prosper. So we will go over there. And uh, since it's raining, I would like to mention about a few things. We have to give vitamins to our chickens because the vitamins are really needed, a must, when the rain comes because the viruses are active during the rain. So we have to double dose the vitamins and you will see that our chicks are already big. Come on, let's go over there. We will give some vitamins. These are the multivitamins that we are giving, especially during rainy season. And we will not allow our chickens to just drink anywhere. We have this water pot right here. And I'd like to mention this in order to share also the experiences that we had even in the hardest times of the climate you will see here actually i already have um, mixed vitamins to the water here this is the water 
We're not endorsing this. You can use any multivitamins for that matter. But what is important is we have to double dose our vitamins for our chicks. You will see that they're already big. I am set to feed them now, actually. I have here the feeds and, you know, when they are still young, we have to give them chick booster. And this is the food that I prepared for our chicks. And we will give some of them here. These are supposed to be the feed of our chicks, but the adult ones are also competing with the chicks. So we have plenty of geese now, we have plenty of ducks, we have plenty of chickens, and the chicks are growing so fast. They're here and they're healthy. So the viruses actually can be prevented in having an impact to our animals if we will double dose the vitamins and that's what I would like to share with you. As you guys can see here, we were able now to establish our water system and we are almost done with this. We already have made a structure just to cover the tube that we have embedded. Actually this is 45 feet and we already have good water. And the idea here is to make a solar submersible pump. I mean, we'll put in submersible pump that's powered by a solar panel and this is actually the things that we have in mind since we don't have electricity we will put here a good tank and then we will have a good water source and the piping system would be you know completely established here especially that we are embarking on the goat house i mean the goat farming so these are big improvements that we have done here and maybe you're interested how much did i spend about the construction well um, I spend around 35 to 40,000 including the artesian well already. So these are minimal compared to you know putting this in other other country like in the US and Canada it costs them a lot because the the soil is really hard. I already have imagined that we can fill this with azola and then we can harvest our ampalaya here at the top and what's good about this is that the azola will not survive in a very you know hot area so since this is really exposed to sunlight we have to make some you know innovations we have to let our plants crawl over here the ampalaya to give us shade and then the azola will actually grow and multiply ah, yeah above the knee and the hip so the water is cold here but I believe that the shade that our ampalaya will provide will be able to make the environment for our azola very suitable so we will expand a little bit Of course the ducks will be tempted to swim over here and eat our azola. So we are now here in this uh, swampy area which is actually 
intended for our goat facility. And the goat house should be established here that will accommodate at the beginning or the, at the start 20 to 25 heads of goats. And as you can see over the area, this filled with bushes, grasses. And we had to cut this down in order for us to have a good uh, plotting where we're gonna place or erect our goat house. So our intention here is to clean all the surroundings. There are many cobras here actually, and there are many pythons, but I'm more afraid of the bees because there are some bees here that are so dangerous. But we have to do this because we are actually fast tracking the facility for our goats. And I already have many goats actually that uh, were taken care of by my friends. As soon as we're gonna be able to stop this, the goat house here, we will collect all the goats and then we will start with breeding them. So these are the things that we can share I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos and if you are not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because year 2024 would be a prosperous year for us. We're going to embark so many projects and this will be a year of harvest. This will be a year of prosperity to all the Dextrians and I would like to invite you because we are sharing our experiences, good and bad experiences, for you to learn and for you to, you know, be informed about the, you know, ups and downs of our experiences here in the farm. I would like to see you in my next video, only here at Dexter's World.